I recently bought an Apple Cinema Display 30 inch from 21 years ago, trying to find out if I can connect it to current Macs. And yes, it works. In this video, I will tell you how it will work and how the display looks like. As you can see, the display looks a little bit different than the Apple Cinema Display 27 inch LED because it has no LED background light. So it uses fluorescent light bulbs, which may get older by the time and lose brightness. On the right side of the displays, you have uh, touch panels. They might be a problem on older models, and all models of these displays are old, because they might be too sensitive. But also the display is very thick. It looks fine. It has a massive aluminum construction at the back, and all connections are going through one cable. This cable uh, has power, DVI, dual link, USB and fire wire. Here you see the power brick. It is rather big but fits well under my desk. It uses up to 130 watts, which is rather much. Here you can get a glimpse of the little box converting DVI dual link to, to USB-C. It is not pulsating blue, that's a little hard drive behind it. I will show you the box later in greater detail. In this video the display is connected to a Mac Studio with M1 Max processor, but I also got it working with MacBook Air M4, iPad Pro with M5 and M2 and it just works. A problem with macOS is that there are no longer built-in brightness controls provided for these old displays. So here you can see my own little app for changing the brightness of Apple Cinema displays connected by USB to Mac. Use it at your own risk. It's simple but it works. And so before telling you which converter to buy, let's take a look at Steve Jobs' introduction of display at a Worldwide Developer Conference in 2004. In addition to our 20-inch and 23-inch, we are announcing the largest high-resolution computer display ever, a new, <laughs> a new 30-inch cinema display. huge. We used to dream about this stuff. Now we get to build it. This thing has a resolution of 2560 pixels by 1600 high. It has what's called dual link on it, which is two DVI connections running in parallel, because one DVI connection would only give you that. <laughs> and so we need two to fill up the display. Which means it is now time to tell you what converter I'm using to connecting this dual DVI uh, display to my current Mac. CAC 1510A from Club 3D. It is important to have the A at the end because only this converter provides a display with a non-copyright protected stream. This also means that it works but it will not show you copyright protected content for example from Netflix or Amazon Prime. So make sure to have the A at the end. The converter is available at Amazon. It has a DVE dual link port on one side and USB-C port on the other side. Thank you for watching. Good night.